Now, law enforcement sources tell the Fox 5 I team that from the very beginning, Harris's story simply didn't make sense. I team reporter Randy Travis has been working the story all day long. And he joins us now with what one source called the first clue that Harris wasn't telling the truth here. Randy. The first of many clues, I'm told, Sine. Yeah, Harris insisted he did not see his son strapped into his car seat, both when he got to work and when Harris got back in his car hours later to drive home. But sources tell us even if he did not see little Cooper, Harris should have known immediately what happened that afternoon because of the smell. Hey, representing Mr. Harris. Two Cobb County law enforcement sources who asked not to be named say authorities were immediately skeptical of Ross Harris's claim that his son's death in a hot car was a horrible accident. When police arrived at the scene last Wednesday, sources tell the Fox 5 I team the smell inside the car, quote, reeked. Another, quote, it smelled the high heavens of a dead body. Little Cooper had been in his car seat for as long as seven hours, with temperatures outside climbing to near 90 degrees. So why is that sad, terrible, tragic smell so important? Because Harris himself claims he didn't realize his son was still in the back seat when he got into his car to drive home that afternoon. In fact, Harris drove 1.3 miles down the road before finally pulling over and calling for help. According to one law enforcement source, the fact that Harris ignored the smell for that long was, quote, clue number one, he wasn't telling the truth. He's charged with felony murder. An arrest warrant also accuses Harris of putting something in his car around noon that day. Meanwhile, the distance Harris drove his son that morning is getting new scrutiny. Law enforcement sources tell the Fox 5 I team Harris admitted to them that he ate breakfast with his 22-month-old son at a Chick-fil-A near his office. He would later tell authorities he forgot his child was in the back seat during that two-tenths of a mile drive to his work. But investigators were unconvinced. They executed search warrants at Harris's home and office, gathering additional evidence. Law enforcement sources tell the Fox 5 I team that investigators found something on Harris's work computer that made them even more suspicious. Someone had conducted an internet search asking how long it takes for an animal to die in a hot car. It's unclear when that search was conducted or whether anyone else would have had access to Harris's computer. Are you Justin Ross Harris, sir? But it is becoming more clear why Cobb County investigators took such an aggressive position in a case that so many people first considered a terrible, tragic accident. Our calls to Harris's attorney, Maddox Kilgore, were not returned. The sources we talked with say they still have not come up with a plausible motive, if indeed this was much more sinister than many people first thought. And, and uh, Russ? Well, what they have spelled out is certainly sinister. Randy Travis, thanks very much. Right. There is still much more to come as our coverage of this story continues tonight. Just ahead, we'll look at how